This 3 News Now date sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Ariana Martinez with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening around us. A number of Nebraska school districts are planning to expand summer school sessions and offer other additional help to students who fell behind because of the disruptions caused by the coronavirus. The Omaha World Herald reports that Nebraska's largest school districts said that between a quarter and one third of high school students attending classes remotely failed two or more classes last semester. That failure rate is significantly higher than it was before the pandemic. The need for additional help is essentially critical for high school juniors and seniors who have fallen behind on coursework that could delay graduation. Public health experts say Iowa's lagging ability to broadly deliver coronavirus vaccines to people is due to inadequate preparation, confusing communication, and a lack of staff and resources at local agencies. Iowa has hovered for weeks near the bottom among all U.S. states in its ability to deliver coronavirus vaccines to people. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds says some counties have had to cancel vaccination clinics due to bad weather and others with unused vaccines will get additional help with contract nurses. She's been criticized for not having a statewide registration and call center established ahead of time. Reynolds announced this week she's contracted with Microsoft for the st statewide registration and appointment system. The state on Friday delayed plans to award a private call center a contract. And I'm 3 News Now weather alert meteorologist Audra Moore with this weather update. The dangerous cold continues as we head through the first part of the week. In fact, most of us on Monday morning will be between negative 10 to negative 20 degrees, depending on how quickly the clouds clear out in your area. And then we don't warm up a whole lot more as we go throughout the day. Back to about negative 4 for a high here in Omaha. But keep in mind, during Monday morning, wind chills will be anywhere from 30 to 40 degrees below zero. So that's what's going to feel like out there. Mix of some sunshine and clouds as we head into Monday afternoon. It's still going to feel very cold out there. Then we get even colder Monday night into Tuesday morning with our actual temperatures dropping back down to near negative 20 across most of the area. So we're going to set a couple of new records, very likely at least on Monday, a record low high, which was negative one set back in 1936. We're forecasting a high on Monday of negative four, our record low on Monday, negative 12, forecasting a low of negative 17. Likely break another record heading into Tuesday morning as we drop back down to 21 degrees below zero or high zero on Tuesday afternoon. Then gradual warming as we head through the rest of the week by Thursday back into the mid teens across most of the area 20s on Friday and then all the way into the low to mid 30s next weekend. Get a large one topping pizza for only 13 bucks when you buy two. All the favorites. You choose just two for 26. Godfather's Pizza. Do it.